first. Another fire on I-85 today. This is just two days after the massive tanker fire shut down the interstate for hours over the weekend. Police say the fire today was caused by someone in a stolen Dodge Charger. That person crashed into the back of another car near Jimmy Carter Boulevard this morning. The other car flipped over and that's when the fire started. The man in the stolen Charger ran off. Police are still looking for him. Fortunately, everyone else in the crash will be okay, but another mess again on the highway. The situation resolved much faster than Saturday's fire, of course. That shut down part of the interstate for 10 hours. Mm. A fuel tanker truck crashed, flipped over, burst into flames. You could see that smoke from miles away. Two people died in that crash. The fuel from the tanker spread into the sewer drains, and many say that they could see explosions coming from nearby manholes. Mm. Rescuers not only evacuated drivers, but they cleared out businesses, too, and the cleanup and repairs, it took hours. Elvin Lopez spoke to GDOT today about the quick response to the fire and why workers were able to reopen the word the road a lot sooner than everybody expected. GDOT says the reason why the repair work was done so quickly was because the fuel had not soaked the road the way they anticipated. When we were thinking initially that it would be 8, 10, 12 hours of road closure, the whole thing was based off of what, how deep that the diesel fuel had run into the asphalt and then also on how big of area we had to repair for that time. GDOT workers said they didn't know what to expect when they first arrived on scene and saw a truck on fire. When you start dealing with tractor trailers, you never know what's on the vehicle, and that's one of the things when the fire department rolled in, none of us had any idea what was on that trailer. Police say the Freightliner truck was pulling a fuel tanker with 8,500 pounds of fuel. The truck driver, Jonas Worku, apparently unable to stop before he hit Emerald Lynn's car, which was stopped in a right-hand lane from a separate accident. When the semi hit the car, they both burst into flames, killing both drivers. Police say the fuel then made its way into the drainage system, sparking multiple fires nearby and putting other drivers at risk. But they had to evacuate the cars. Uh, because they felt that they was in danger as well. Drivers jumping over the median, some leaving their cars behind, many stranded for hours while emergency crews got to work, clearing the wreckage and repaving the lanes. The repair work going faster than expected. As we took the layers off, we was pleased to, to note that the diesel fuel only penetrated the top inch and a half layer. Completely clearing all lanes on I-85, Barnes says it's a sign of the crew's quick response, a true team effort, all done to keep others safe. GDOT is working with Gwinnett on an I-85 corridor study to ease congestion and to improve safety. The first meeting will take place tomorrow in Norcross, and a truck lane isn't off the table. We'll have more on that coming up at 6.